Priestland University began enrolling students in 2015-2016 session. And by 2018-2019 session, we have run four sessions. And we are graduating a very first set of students. And we all believe that it's something we should celebrate. We're a university, this part of university culture. Everything we're doing this week is maiden, maiden, maiden. Being a private university, people think we graduate substandard students, not at all. In this university, we start assessing. We start quality control of our processes right from year one. And so they went through external examination processes. Their questions were assessed from not, not the final year, before they got to final year. And I want to let you know that out of these seven, two made a first class. And one made an aggregate of five over five. And I sat at her oral exam. I sat there. By the time she finished, you would think you were in Harvard. And at the end of the day, she almost, she, she, part of the people there gave her standing ovation. And one of the professors said, she's a first class anywhere in the world. So we are celebrating these seven stars like 7,000 people. So we are not afraid. We are happy. We are excited. And we just want to give honor to whom honor is due. So today is day one. And we are starting with a convocation lecture. So we are here to listen to world class lecture. And by the time you leave, it's our desire and prayer that you'll be a world-class citizen. But for us in Christmas, we are marching into our world-class space. Thank you as we listen. Honorable Chancellor, uh, permit me to invite Dr. Teller to come and introduce the chairman of this occasion. Dr. Teller, please. The Chancellor Ma, I shift Dr. Mrs. Wilfred Awushika OON. Please permit me to ask an humbly to Emeritus Professor Nimi Briggs to please remain standing as I read his citation. Nimi Dimpa. Briggs, KSE, JP, OONMB, BS Lagos, MD Lagos, FRCOG, FMCOG Nigeria, FWACS, SAS, FIBS. Honorable Chancellor Ma, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to invite Emeritus Professor Nimi Briggs to address the assembly. The Chancellor of our university, our mother, the mother of this university, an individual mother to a lot of us here. Thank God for your life. Thank God that you are here to celebrate this day. This day must be a very important one to you. I say so because you commenced your quest to get an education across the many from the kindergarten. And today you will be graduating students that have acquired the university degree. 
in platforms where you have students from other universities. And I tell you something that Krishna University students have been part of the pack. When the table of floor in any discipline, any other disciplines, you find them shiny and shiny brightly. You don't wonder that we're told that this release of several stars. Uh, you know, we're talking about we're talking about uh, world class universities. Uh, I'd like you to please adopt this uh, tradition, which you find in world class universities. Uh, I'm going to strand them into three. One is that in a gathering of a gathering like this, you cannot go to a world class university. Let me just name a few of them: Harvard, Oxford, MIT, and then when somebody has uh, given a speech. Uh, the MC or somebody comes, give him another round of applause. That one, uh, it is a century old, old thing. Applause, ladies and gentlemen, comes spontaneously from inside of you. So I do not think that I would like to see, not that I don't want to think, I would not like to see Crystal University where you are holding any ceremony. Did I say, give him another round of applause? That one is clearly not world class. <laughs> Uh, you notice that the uh, registrar talked about my suggestion of being read. I mean, it's fine. I have had this over the last uh, 200 years. That is more than 200 years. That is, you know, the idea of uh, whatever, come and stand, stand. Look, if you go to a world class university, when the person is being introduced, the somebody will be seated, and some rendition is made of a paragraph of two or two of the person, and the person now comes forward. It is not that uh, I want you to please stand up. The person is standing. That's another one. Uh, quite a few others as we as we go along. Uh, but I tell you that I'm thrilled to be here. I'm up here about the topic: building a world class university in Africa, the role of private universities, which I believe this will provide us a basis for developing a framework for making Christian University attain, attain world-class status in the shortest possible time. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, the appreciation of all Nigerians, we're told about 200 million of us, indeed all Africans, about 1.28 billion Africans, should go to Chief Dr. High Chief Dr. Mrs. Winifred O. Awoshika. By the way, my next granddaughter, because I love Mama so much and I love them, my next granddaughter will be named Winifred. <laughs> yes, I'm going to bring her to Mama in, uh, <laughs> uh, to let her know that I'm uh, doing this, uh, this expectation of mine. Hi, Chief Dr. Mrs. Winifred Awoshika, O N, and the family for the courage propelled by love for education to invest in the setting up of Christian University. Surely, the Awoshikas would have otherwise invested the huge resources in setting up and running Christian, would have invested in a coastline, in enjoying life with family and friends, holidaying in church places across the world. But you decided oppositely is sowing for future generations of Nigerians, indeed of Africans. It is my prayer that God will grant them, especially the Chancellor and Chairman Board of Trustees, High Chief Dr. Ms. Winifred Oawushika O N, long life and good health Amen. to reap the fruits of their investment. Amen. To be world class universities. Indeed, what you're trying to see, assume this is the class. I start to see students of different nationalities. I start to see some Germans, I start to see some Oyibo people, some uh, whatever people. That's world class. If I love the class and I walk into the, uh, the staff offices, I start to see on the label the name of a lecturer from Ghana, the name of a lecturer from Japan, 
the name of a lecturer from the UK. If uh, I go to your toilet, go to the city hostel, sardine pants. In what class in the rest of the world? A student hostel that is like a one star hotel. So when students go on holiday and there's a conference, conference attendees can use the student hostel as a place of residence. But what do you have? Go to a toilet, toilet will be like toilet you go to the market. You find rats and cockroaches running over the place. I say work class. I'm building up the story by you that to say you are work class. There are some parameters. I'm going to delve, we're going to dig in into a, 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 a number of these attributes. So we in Christian, we want to be work class. It means it will set like 10 years that I want to be work class. I want to come to Christian, God help me. And I will see students from different parts of the world. And I will see lecturers from different parts of the world. And I will go to any toilet, you see? In a, work, in a work class university, you don't see toilet with, uh, say, jerry can of water waiting in the corner there. You don't see it there. I tell you what, just a handful of our universities today, once a one of them, we now walk into even the office of Mr. the number one person, the vice chancellor. You can see drum of water there. And you're talking about work class. Exercise is deceit. So, we. Uh, How do we then define work class? I've defined it as an institution with teaching, learning, and research delivery systems meeting global standards. The work class university has origin. We talk about work class university. I'm trying to place the origin of work class university, dating far back. I know with God all things are possible, and there were prayers, and with everybody uh, showing commitment, we'll put all these things uh, behind us. So in this lecture, what I'm trying to do is to discuss with you the concept of world-class university. And to say that we have some distance between world-class and where we are now. And I've made some suggestions as to how uh, we can bridge that gap and how Chris life can attain world-class status in the shortest possible time. In closing, I'd like you to note that the Nigerian university system is 71 years old. And then the Met Toddler compared with universities in Europe and North America that were set in the world class. We are small, small beginning. Small, small beginning. Harvard, 1636. So we, Chris Lana, under five. No, 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 it's serious. It's a, much, it's a very important, it's a very important element. The alumni of Harvard. By the time this university is 100 years, Mama, you'll be alive. Mama. <laughs> By the time this university is 100, 100 years, we'll be getting money from alumni. Or do I command to give money? Who we'll are ask alumni of you are you? And don't know here, they don't give nothing. You just ask you give uh, ten naira, give this and there. There's no no ten naira, they won't give anything. For the love, are you paying to uh, are you paying your love nine days? You are paying. The, for the purpose of this lecture, we say yes, it's paid. That's it. So that age differential is important. Uh Bologna. Might have pronounced that invest of Bologna, not Bologna, as of who we call it. Was established, wait for it, 1088. Wow. Wow. Oxford, 1096. Wow. And I'm also mentioned about 1096. But in spite of our relatively young age, we can still rise. Let's be, let's be still making some efforts. And as you say, you are old, you are too much, so too much, we can't reach there, but we can get there. 